So when we need to put our tool chain to the test, there's one thing we have to download. The example we are going to use is a fairly complete one, and it contains um, code that relies on uh, parts of the Boost library. So we have to download uh, Boost. So the URL for this is boost.org. And uh, there we go to the download link, of course, as usual. And Boost is a little bit unusual in that the majority of the libraries uh, that are contained in it are actually header only, so they don't require installation or compilation. All we have to do is download the zip archive and uh, move it to a location where the compiler can find it. This is what we're going to do. So I'm going to download Boost, and uh, this time around, unlike um, Usually, we don't, there's nothing to execute in terms of an installer or something. So uh, we just uh, go to the uh, download folder. And uh, this is uh, a, a compressed uh, archive with a zip. So we can just uh, do a right click on here and uh, then just say, OK, well, we're going to extract everything um, into uh, this particular folder. And then we're going to use this into the uh, location. So let's do this. And we don't need to show the extracted files when this is complete. So I'm just going to extract everything. Okay, so the uh, extraction is done, took a long time, and uh, now we can move uh, everything in place. So now the easiest way to actually install it is to go into the uh, program files folder under your local disk and uh, create an entry here for boost. So I'm going to create a new folder, create boost, and then we're just going to enter the extracted directory which has um, the uh, directory uh, with the actual files in it uh, again. So now we can go again back here to boost and just move that folder into the boost subdirectory and program files and click continue and this should move over fairly quickly. And once this is done, we have a boost installation, and that's uh, it. So here is our boost subdirectory that now contains all the infrastructure that uh, the compiler needs to just include the library headers and then work with it.